Welcome back to We Happy Few. It's time to head to this huge tower in the parade district. I forgot exactly what the reason is for us to go there. Is that where our letter of transit is? Or do we just have to go through there to get to our letter of transit? Not sure. Either way, we're going there. I have 11 skill points. It doesn't matter what I spend them on. Quiet or lock picking? Sure. I have literally almost everything except these two, and these are kind of just pretty irrelevant, really. I feel so ridiculously powerful. I'm just going to cause chaos everywhere I go and just not really care about, you know, enemies are being stealthy. There's really no reason to. So let's have fun causing chaos. I'm sorry, sir. The broadcast tower has been quarantined. Well, I think if you examine the gate, you'll see that it's been unquarantined. Oh, so it has. Well then, I'll just bugger off, shan't I? <laughs> Enjoy your visit. I hope we get to go to the tip top of this tower and look out at the world. At the town. That'd be so cool. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is a bit wet. Look at how pretty this is. The sun always comes out at the end. So come on out, or you'll miss it. Wait here, wait. You took a V meat sandwich off a downer this morning. How on earth did a downer get V meat? I haven't the foggiest, but I'll tell you, it was the best meal I've had in days. I'd imagine. Sandwich wasn't bad either. Sandwich wasn't bad either. <laughs> You're a witch. What have we come to? <laughs> oh. What is that chicory doing there? That toasted chicory. Like, uh, there's no- I don't need sovereigns, so there's no reason to force these. I'm really not gonna be looting very much, I think, unless it looks important. I mean, a whole pie, that's important. Come on. Whilst service entrance is out of order, workers may use this entrance, but proper decorum is required at all times. Please ensure that your boots do not drip, as we have recently had the carpet cleaned again. Huh. Oh. Point of no return. You can finally escape to the mainland. Are you ready? Once you go through these doors, Arthur will be done with any other adventures in Wellington Wells. Oh, I didn't realize this was, like, the end. Uh... I mean... I, I've explored almost everything. Do I still have the mysterious chest? There is still the mysterious chest. I can't fast travel from here, dang it. Okay, let's go back to the mysterious chest. <laughs> God, that's so brutal. Oh. Rubbish at hide and seek, aren't you? It's not personal. Some sort of pagan prayer. Accept this, O true God of this place. We exist for you. You are the spark that makes us come alive. Take this small gift as our sacrifice to you in thanks. Um. Wait, wait a day or two? Have I not already waited a day or two? Huh. It must have been days since I last came here. 
Look, I don't even want to be here. I don't even need to charge it up. Just one basic attack. <laughs> well, that's for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. Slept for 24 hours? Now let's see what's showing up here. Oh, hold on. I don't have to deal with you. Get out of here. Can't we work something out? No? I'm just gonna take it. A I know it's banger. a... I could murder a bunch of people at once with this. I know it says I'm not supposed to take anything, so maybe I'm cursed, but... There's gotta be an end to this quest, right? It's not just gonna be an infinite loop of this, I would imagine. Um, I'm gonna go back and sleep again. I'll sleep and, and do this one more time, and I'll see if it ends or, or advances somewhere. Right. Last time. Accept this, oh true god. Okay, that's the same. This feels like this chest just keeps giving me random stuff, like it's just an infinite fun random box. But then, would they really give me a quest that I can't complete? Oh wait, there's a progress bar. Yeah, it just says, if I understand these signs right, they put something new in there every day. Maybe I should come back tomorrow. I bet if I wait a day or two, the witches might replenish the chest. I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's going anywhere, so... Meh. Yeah, let's go back here. Let's push on towards the end. I think the rail tracks are just past those revolvers. thing is I'm not actually yeah I don't actually have joy on me so what the hell was that though that wasn't caused by me huh. now we see the violence I the the you. sorry Oh, that would be a big problem if it wasn't for the fact that I have a cat suit. Can't go that way, can I? The whole floor's collapsed. Oh, I hope I don't have to go up there. I think I should put my cat suit back on. I'm gonna have to go up there, aren't I? Why does God hate me? I think there's a power switch over there or something. I see a red glow. Oh. Or a vent. That works. actually accomplish because I could have got through all the live power around here anyway oh look at all those look at all, so all those lava lamps lava lamps good condition what will you trade for them and then below that different handwriting what the fuck is a lava lamp what's those I guess I'll go back up here? 
Whoa. Sometimes Arthur grabs on a weird things. Like if I go this way? Is this any different? Or does this just take me to the same area? Oh no, this is different. Breathing those fumes. Looks like I wasn't the first one here. Holy crap! Motilene crystals! It's a really cool set piece. stuff. Unless it's like a key card or, you know, something unique like that. There's no reason for me to loot any of it. I hope I can get back to the tracks through the mine somehow. Perfectly safe going into the mines. What are the odds they'll collapse again, eh? My God, it does look like a camel. Or a, or a weasel. It has a back like a weasel. Hello. Do I know you? The, uh, executive committee asked me to see how things are going down here. About bloody time. I've been asking them for months. They think everything's peachy keen down here. It's not peachy keen, is it? I don't suppose you saw anyone working on the way in? Unless they were disguising it terribly well, no. They get dotty if they forget to go topside. The XCOM sent me to inspect the... The machine over there. The bucket wheel excavator. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Did you happen to notice a bloody great hole on your way in? That's because we delved too sloppily and too deep with that thing, and half the mine collapsed. I told the gang to stick to picks and shovels. We start that beast up again, the rest of the mine is going to collapse and take the entire bloody parade with it. That's quite alarming. Have you removed the activator? Ah, uh, no. The gang don't seem very interested in starting it up. Well, I think you'd better let me remove the activator. I don't want any accidents. Ah, uh, all right. You'll need my keycard. I'll let them know you need relief. By God, you are the most on-the-ball person I've seen in years. Are you sure you're not a downer? Uh... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Power up the machine? If the Bray District does collapse though, that, that could kill thousands. Tens of thousands, maybe. Oh well, apparently we gotta do it anyway. Now 
That won't do at all. Did they not notice it was me? <laughs> Good shot. Wait. I forgot to push this excavated thing to cross that abyss. I wonder how you turn it on. I've got it. What if you come with me? And I'm too old. What if I sneak you on the tree? That's against... That's against the rules. Well, if we get caught, I'll just say there was a mix-up and you can play dumb. Are you sure? Remember how I snuck you on the camping trip? Didn't it work out brilliantly? Just trust me. I trust you, Arthur. I said I trust you, Arthur. We'll go to Germany together. We'll take care of each other, no matter what happens. Escape. Right. On the outside, aren't we? Let's change our clothes. Let's get a proper suit on, huh? We have no shoes, but eh, that's fine. Let's have nothing on our head, not even a helmet broken helmet that would just look weird are you really doing this to find Percy I mean where would you even look for him is he even alive is he in Russia how would you even get to Germany Constable should assume that any unauthorized person past this point is attempting to leave Wellington Wells. This is clear evidence of mental derangement. Skippers will often complain of hunger. This is further evidence of psychosis induced from joy withdrawal. After subduing a would-be skipper, please render him to custody to the custody of Dr. Verloc at Howarth Labs. Oh good. I'm finally back on the right track. Huh. Oh, I wanted to go up there. <laughs> I can't. You know where I'm going on holidays? Spain. I've not been to Spain, except Gibraltar once. Next holiday. Maybe I'll. You're doing this because you don't have a strong enough sense of self-preservation to leave Wellington Wells on your own account, aren't you? You need the guilt. Mr. Hastings. Just when I'd given up all hope of seeing an engineer. You know, sir, we've come to the end of our time. Some of us cut and run. Some of us stand by our post. Some of us take care of our brother. My brother? 
What are you saying? All men is brothers, sir. Right. Huh. Of course. Oh, damn thing so itchy. It's times like these what try men's souls, sir. They try men's souls. I... Who are you? Please keep your hands inside the train. It is very dangerous to... You must get back on the train. the Arthur. windows of the train. Where'd you go? Arthur! You must get back on board. No, I'm just here to take my brothers to the train. No! Please, Arthur! No, 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 get off Mr. Please, no, Percival Hastings. No. That's me, Arthur, Percy. No, no, People call me Percy. Please, no. Someone has written on this card that you are a bit dim, and you can't be roaming about on your own. You don't seem dim. Right. Well, um, Mum thinks I can't. Mum no. thinks I can't. No, no, Mum no. thinks no, I can't no, take Arthur, care please. of myself. Arthur. But I can. Arthur. Oh, I to tell the truth, I really did want to go to Germany with my brother, Arthur. See, we, we'd sort of take care of each other. So I tried to sneak on, but then Arthur said, no, we have to follow the rules. Is that so? I'll just run along home. Mum's probably worried sick. Uh, can I go? This is a day we may all come to regret, Mr. Hastings. But I am not going to put one more child on that train than my duty obligates me to do. Run along, then. Sir, are you all right? I'll best be on my way. Something terrible. Oh, we have all done things we regret, sir. Some of them we regretted as we done them. Some of them never quite go away. I told him we'd go to Germany together. I told him I'd hold our passports and then I walked off the train with his passport. He didn't know how to talk to anyone but me. I can't make it up to him now. Can I? No, sir. I imagine you cannot. Then who is there to forgive me? Some try to forget. I can't do that. Not anymore. Well, I suppose you, you must treat it as a gift. To know who you are. Without that, there's no hope for wisdom. I wish I still believed in some sort of mercy. Life goes on. That is the mercy. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. a depressing ending so basically it really through the whole game it's just revealed that arthur is more and more and more guilty for what happened with percival at first it just seemed like an accident and just a horrible event the whole train thing and then it was revealed that oh they arthur uh left them deliberately lied and then it's revealed that they like super super duper extra lied Arthur really just gets less sympathetic as the game goes on. I was hoping to learn a little bit about what the outside world looks like, but I totally get why we didn't see that, because that's kind of like a whole can of worms. What the heck does Arthur do next? Try to find their brother, I suppose? Although I don't... I don't know if they want to meet their brother again, because they betrayed them so much. 
Let's wrap up with some thoughts on the game, because I think I can judge the game overall pretty well now, even though there's still other characters to play. Um, and then after that, I'll talk about the different characters and what I'm going to be doing next in this game. I really enjoyed my time with We Happy Few. There's a lot of really great things, and there's quite a few imbalanced things and bad things, but they're nothing that made me get frustrated, so it still feels like a very pleasant, kind of frictionless game to play. So, things I liked. The voice acting's fantastic. The overall story of, of this town is really interesting, and I especially want to know what happened outside of this town, what's left, but I, I don't think that's the sort of question this game's really here to answer. I think that's just too big of a question. It's such a beautiful game. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so vibrant. It's really refreshing to see a game set in sort of miserable conditions, yet it still has so much life and color to it, like just running and sprinting through nature. It's just gorgeous. All the weird gadgets are pretty fun to play with. Rick the stunt duck and etc, etc. Although, that actually brings me to some of the imbalanced things in this game. Unfortunately, Although Rick the Stunt Duck is hilarious, I think I only used it maybe twice in the ga the whole game? It's a cool concept, but a lot of the tools just seemed irrelevant to me. Maybe they would have become relevant if I played on a higher difficulty, but I played on the normal difficulty and... You know, I used glass bottles, that was kind of my main tool in the beginning, to distract people. And then later in the game, maybe the second half or so, I just didn't need to use stealth at all, really. So in the beginning, you know, I was excited to find all these new tools and things, but yeah, by mid-game, and, and certainly further than mid-game, everything started to feel kind of irrelevant. It's almost as if... I don't know, it's almost as if the game is not built for a person who does everything, like every quest. Maybe if I didn't do every quest and I hadn't gotten as much skill points and looted as thoroughly as I did, maybe things would have been more important. But with my playstyle, yeah, a lot of things just become irrelevant. I found a lot of new recipes, almost all of them irrelevant, really. Mostly I found them and I'm just like, oh yeah, I've had some of those for hours and hours and hours and I don't really care to make anymore. I still haven't even used them. I got like 20 bangers in my inventory. It was pretty late in the game where I found that recipe for bigger bangers. It was really late in the game. And that requires TNT, so like I could go around searching for old German bombs and extracting them to get TNT to make bigger bangers, but I think I used a bigger banger once in the entire game and it worked well, but there just wasn't any point. I was so powerful, I could just get into combat with like 10 bobbies at the same time and be fine. The whole survival aspect and gathering resources and crafting and all of that, that whole thing just feels severely imbalanced. There's, frankly, an overwhelming amount of things to loot. There's too many things to loot, and the things that I do loot feel too irrelevant. You know, if I pick something up, I want it to feel like, oh, I can see what this is, and I think, oh yeah, I could imagine, oh, I could use that to make this or this. That's an important thing. I definitely should get more of it. But there's so many different crafting ingredients, and there's so many things to loot. Like, just a house's kitchen alone could easily have 20 places, distinct places to mash E on to loot. It's just overwhelming, and all the ingredients just all blend together and become pretty irrelevant. I wish there were less items to get and less places to loot, and whatever you did find I wish was more relevant to surviving. Although, pretty much everything was ridiculously plentiful. For some reason, sewing kits seem to be the rarest ingredient in the known universe. By the way, I would like to point out that I got through the entire game. As Arthur, 20 plus hours of playing, and I got probably two, three, maybe four um, workshop upgrade kits and chemistry upgrade kits. And I have literally no idea what they actually do. I upgraded some of my workstations, and it looked cool, but as far as I can tell, it made no difference. <laughs> what is that item for? I'm going to solve that mystery right now. 
Uh, I'm looking on the Steam forums for a post. What do the upgrades do exactly? It looks like I can craft the same stuff away from the workbenches as when I'm interacting with them. Mm. Some special items require you to use an upgraded workbench slash chem set to craft them. Okay. I don't think I ever found a single ingredient that required an upgraded workbench. So... What? How did I, like... Did I miss that many recipes or something? Also about the story and uh, the characters in particular. The story was intriguing, but a lot of the dialogue felt pretty heavy-handed. You know, Arthur being very explicit with how they betrayed Percy and exactly what they're feeling right now. And uh, in a lot of, a lot of times, especially the very end there, I feel like it would have been better to say nothing at all. Because I, like, I get it. You know, I saw what happened. We saw what happened at the train station. And that's disturbing enough. We don't need to explicitly say what you're feeling because of that. And pretty much all of Arthur's interactions with Sally are just... Yikes. The humor was generally pretty funny to me. It's got this very classic, sarcastic kind of British humor. But some of it is also just kind of crappy not in that they're bad jokes but in that they're kind of mean-spirited jokes like they're pretty bad about mental illness people being like crazy or mentally ill or loonies just like for the fun of it basically mental illness as the punchline to a joke but overall i, I really enjoyed we happy few and i'm not done with it yet there's there's still definitely more to play I also want to mention how amazing of an achievement this game is for the studio behind it, Compulsion Games. This is their, I believe it's their second game as a studio. And according to Wikipedia anyway, the amount of people they had working at their studio in 2018, which is around the time this game was fully released out of early access, was about 40 people. And I mean, 40 people is quite a bit, but... For a game this big, I mean, this game is massive. It's got a huge open world, and it's got a lot of pretty complicated interlocking mechanics between stealth and disguises and all this crafting, and it just has a huge amount of stuff. And I just finished a playthrough as one out of three different playable characters with their own unique storylines. Like, this is a huge game for a studio with only 40 people. Uh, just to put that in perspective, let's compare that to, like, a really big AAA game. Um, I don't know, let's say, one example, Fallout 4 was made by about 100 employees at Bethesda. And that's on the low side, apparently. Apparently that's extraordinarily low for AAA. You can expect AAA games to probably be made by at least a couple hundred people. For this super polished, gorgeous looking, and sounding pretty massive game to be made by about 40 people? That's amazing. Okay, as for the other characters and what I'm going to be doing, apparently you don't get to choose what character you play next as, it just happens sequentially. So you start as Arthur, and then the next character is Sally, and then the next character is Ollie. So. Right now I can play as Sally, which I'm interested to do because I, I like Sally. They're the most interesting character to me, actually. More than Arthur and much more than Ollie. So I definitely, I definitely want to play with Sally. Play with Sally? Play as Sally. But there's also DLCs. I'm going to be playing the Lightbearer DLC where I'm pretty sure you play as Nick Lightbearer. Um, I got press keys for this game that included the base game and the light bear dlc so that's why i want to play this one specifically i don't have the others so basically i have three other characters to play as and i think i'm going to start with nick light bear and then assuming that i still want to play more after that i'll play as sally and then maybe as ollie see the thing is i'm um, i'm trying to think what kind of stuff about the world and the characters is going to be fleshed out by playing as these different people. I 
can imagine Sally probably fleshes out more about more about joy, basically the production of it and the desperation of trying to find more resources to make more joy and running out in bad batches and whatever the permanent solution is exactly. I imagine it's, it's that sort of stuff because Sally Boyle was like a genius engineer, chemist, whatever, uh, who worked with Dr. Verloc. So that should be pretty interesting. I hope it reveals more stuff about other things than just that, though. But Ollie, I mean, I have no idea. What the hell is Ollie's story going to reveal about the world at all? We barely spent any time with them, and I didn't really like them. So I, <laughs> I might not play as Ollie. And Nick Lightbear, man, I have no idea. But yeah, uh, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return... I'm going to play the Lightbearer DLC.